Well, currently the district attorney's office here in Montgomery County is offering a amnesty program for outstanding fines and warrants that are in the JP courts. Um, citizens that have outstanding warrants are able to come in and pay those fines at a reduced rate. Uh, what we're doing tonight is the second phase of the amnesty program. The first phase being the district attorney's office sends out notices to people with outstanding class C warrants in the county. After that's been done tonight, uh, we're conducting a warrant roundup. It's a multi-agency warrant roundup. All the constables in the county have sent units over to Precinct 4. And in order to go out, and the second phase being we go out and actually arrest the people, bring them in the office, and once again, give them another chance to pay their fine at a reduced rate. Um, tonight, people are coming in. So far, we've arrested approximately 75 people, and I don't have the exact numbers in yet, but probably less than 10 of those will actually go to jail tonight. Uh, everyone else will make arrangements to come up and pay their fines. Um, the third phase of the program will be after the amnesty period's over. There'll be a warrant roundup, and at that time, citizens just have to come in and set their time out on their outstanding fines. The part that I'm most excited about is the fact that you've got a multi-agency approach to a problem that's been affecting all of Montgomery County. As we indicated to Commissioner's Court, even as early as last week, we have approximately 50,000 outstanding Class C warrants. Our A's and B's range about 7,500, and our felony warrants are about 2,500. So it's nice to see every law enforcement agency, the Sheriff's Department, all the constables, Precinct 4, 5, and 2, uh, and Precincts 1 are out here heavily, I forgot Precinct 3, are out here heavily. Had about 45 officers out here attempting to serve approximately 500 warrants. It's been a great response by law enforcement and a lot of the people that have been coming in here, they've all, almost all to a person said that they knew that they had it out there. They wished that they had taken um, care of their, their problems earlier. And part of the amnesty program that we're doing, it's a, it's a two-pronged approach. It's part of the carrot and part of the stick. The carrot is we offer amnesty. We allow them to come in and pay one flat fee of $199 and resolve the majority of their tickets. Um, and as part of that, that's the carrot. And you're saying, hey, come in. We're going to give you amnesty. We're going to allow you to take care of your, your tickets, and we're not going to come get you. The stick, which also goes with it, is what we're doing tonight. This is the warrant roundup. And so throughout the amnesty program, we're continuing to say, we're going to be out here. You need to come take care of your fines, pay your fees, take care of your business, be a responsible citizen of Montgomery County. But the stick is, if you don't, they're going to come arrest you. And so tonight, that's what you're seeing. Um, the constables were out in force. The Sheriff's Department has been uh, very helpful. And we've had a really, really good response rate. And we've had a good rate of uh, return on the warrants right now. Well, we feel like the warrant roundup uh, was a success and continues to be. It's uh, almost midnight, and uh, we're still going. And people still coming in. We've had some people that got word about it and voluntarily they just walked up to the window to take care of their business, and, and that's nice. We'd like for them done it a little bit sooner. But uh, you got an opportunity to come in and take care of this stuff, the warrant roundup, where you have the amnesty plan going. We give you an opportunity to take care of it. You didn't. Uh, now they're, the guys are out picking them up. Uh, to come in and take care of it. It's 199 can take care of your fines for you uh, and you can walk out. Uh, but if you don't take advantage of this, they're coming to get you and put you in jail and there won't be any deals. 